Welcome back to Work on the Panda Suit. Today we are talking about Star Trek Picard Season 1, Episode 6. Finally, they find Soji, so I'm pretty happy about that. I felt like that was um, going on a little bit too long, and hopefully we don't have to see that weird brother-sister duo anymore. That would be great. Yeah, so Picard and Soji finally together, and she activated as well. I guess uh, once they got the information they needed, they tried to kill her, and she activated because of it so that's cool she now knows that she's i think she knows she's like an android i'm not sure i mean she obviously knows something's going on i'm not sure if she knows to what degree i can't exactly remember what he told her at the end before he tries to kill her he does say that she's not real or something like that clearly i should just be watching these more than once but i just wanted to talk about it and get it out of the way by the way if this happens to go up on sunday then happy birthday Malcolm. If it goes up on Monday, then happy belated birthday Malcolm. I am sorry. I gotta go to bed. So let's get through this. It was a good episode. Um, I'm glad that part of the story has moved forward. There were some things that I'm not sure how I feel about. I'm not sure how I feel about Agnes and Rios. Not sure how I feel about that. I don't know if it's because I know that Agnes killed Maddox. So I'm not sure if, like, it's because of that bias. But I also feel like something's up with Rios and I can't quite figure out what it is. Some of you have pointed out that maybe the hologram theory is not correct and I see your point. So I guess I'll just wait and see. I want to know more about him. I hope we learn more of his backstory and stuff like that. Raffi is having a hard time dealing with her backstory. That kind of sucks. Oh, thank you so much, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your theories with me. They're way more elaborate and better than anything I have even thought of yet, so thank you. I feel like we got a lot more kind of into the Borg stuff. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't start with this. So Picard gets to meet up with Hugh again, which is pretty crazy, I think. It's kind of cool to have, like, Picard have some sort of, like, connection with the Borg once finally being on that cube. And Hugh being there and being able to relate to, like, being de-assimilated and everything and gaining human your humanity back and stuff. That's kind of cool for those of you who don't know who Hugh is. He's a character from um, Next Generation. He was a Borg that Picard um, helped. That's pretty cool. One of you um, shared your theory about how the Romulans created the Borg and I like that theory. I mean I don't like that theory because I hate the Borg but I think it's an interesting theory and I'd like to see if that develops more. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, so I feel like this episode sort of wrapped up some stuff that was like left hanging, but I do not understand why they left Elnor there with Hugh at the end. Like, there was no reason for Elnor to stay behind. Obviously, like, this has to be leading up to some sort of like, and it, it, it leaves it on a cliffhanger, so it's not as if he just dies. It's not like he was just around for two episodes and dies. Like, he's obviously gonna come back. Him and Hugh, hopefully, together. Maybe they'll both make it back to the ship at some point. Maybe they'll go back for them um, in the next episode. I don't know. But it doesn't make any sense why they couldn't have all left. They had more than enough time. It just didn't really make any sense. So hopefully they redeem themselves with something cool. And hopefully it has something to do with like Elnor's pact. Like maybe there's something that we're kind of missing about why he would have had to stay behind. Who knows? Hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully he makes it back. I really didn't get that, but whatever. I'm really glad that Soji's finally, like, aware of what's going on, sort of aware of what's going on, because that was a little much. Like, at least with Dodge, it kind of just, like, sprang on her, like, no, like, from nowhere. But anyway, I'm just happy that uh, we're moving forward with the plot. Not really sure what's going to happen next episode. I'm hoping that they're going to go back and save Elnor. And they obviously got Soji out. Hopefully they can make it out of that space safely. And I'm sure they can. They've got Rios at the helm. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to it all. Hopefully we now can move forward and learn more about like the android side of things. As well as the Tal Shiar stuff. As well as maybe if 
the Romulans are to do something with the Borg. I mean, it would be interesting. I don't like the Borg, so I feel like it would give me a reason to not like Romulans, and I feel like people try to already give so many reasons not to like Romulans that, like, they don't need that. Hopefully they didn't create the Borg, although... I don't know. It's a good theory. I think it's probably one of the best working theories I've heard so far. I'm actually gonna now sign off from this video so that I can go look up more information about episodes that have aired so far and see what I might have missed. So thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to, please subscribe to my channel somewhere down there. If you want to be notified of when I post new videos, hit that little bell icon as well. That's all I really have to say about today's episode. All in all, it was good and moved everything forward. I'm happy we're moving in the right direction, I think. And I'm looking forward to the next one. So thanks again for watching, and I guess just live long and prosper or something.